What's going on guys? So I'm in the gym right now, but just wanted to make a video on this topic real quick before I started my workout. Um, I was out with my friends the other day and a thought kind of struck me, you know, cause I think it's really important that whoever you take advice from is living a life exactly or similar to the life that you desire to live. Um, I'm, I'm a person who loves to pick at people's perspectives and, you know, take from every single experience what I can, you know. I really try to find the lesson in every experience and every conversation. Um, but it, it really prompted me to think, like, Okay, say I want a, say I want like a really high end job or a career or something like that. And I ask someone that's like working at like a grocery store. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. You can do good, you know, in that sense. And I'm sure some of you watching this may be working at a grocery store. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm saying that, say I wanted to be somewhere else. Like say I wanted to be corporate and I'm asking someone who works retail how to work corporate and I take their advice and I internalize it. It's like, is that really fruitful for my journey? And I think a lot of us are, are guilty of this, that, you know, especially in moments of uncertainty, we ask others for advice because we just don't know. You know, we, we go to the outside world for advice towards our goals or our, you know, our personal mission. You have to realize that you're the only one who's ever going to be on this path, your path, whatever, whoever you are, this path was crafted just for you. So when you have those inevitable moments of doubt, right? Before you think to ask a person that maybe isn't living the life you want to live for advice, Realize that the answers are already in you. The answers are already in you. It, it's it's pretty interesting how things work because um, I've I've realized a lot of times in my life, right, when I've had those rough patches of like, oh shit, I don't know what I want. You know, I don't know what I want. I'm very indecisive. I'm very like, I just don't know. I sat with that. I used to ask people. I used to ask everyone for advice on how to just navigate through this life and i'm sure sometimes it can it can definitely give you it can definitely be an escape to what you're going through but it it's it never heals it never solves the problem it just gives you an escape but i've i've realized that uh when i would go through these things whenever i went through them i attracted someone or something that gave me the answer I was looking for. Because I did the work inside, I did the internal work. I did the internal work and I healed from whatever, no, I did the internal work to discover whatever it was that I was searching for within myself. You know, when, when I did the work, when I discovered whatever it was inside myself that was causing this indecision, that blockage being cleared attracted something on the outside, something in my external reality. So that's, that's just the approach I take now. Like I, at times I'll ask for advice. I'm not gonna lie to you. But like I said, it's more of an escape than anything. It's not like a, it's not like I'm asking to genuinely you know, find the answer. Because I know no one I cross paths with, at least right now, is, you know, has that answer. Everyone is going through their own journey and battles, you know. But sometimes, but don't get mistaken. Sometimes it takes that form as well. Sometimes that energy, that force of knowledge or that that inspiration will flow through the least 
the most unexpected people. So you also got to be open for that. It's very paradoxical. Because the least qualified, quote unquote, qualified people, you know, people that don't really have what you want or don't really aren't really on the path that you want to be on can sometimes serve as a catalyst for information that needs to reach you. And you also have to realize that. But uh, but the majority of the time you should realize that everything you need is within yourself, everything that you need to conquer and overcome is not outside of you, it's inside of you. And once you conquer those things, you will live a very peaceful life and you will be able to attain whatever you want to attain. There's no, there's no fear involved after you go into the depths of like your own soul. When you face the depths of your own character, there's nothing that can shake you on the external plane. But on, on a more surface note, go to places where you think that your ideal self would be. Put yourself in the shoes of who you want to be and tell yourself you're that person and, and ask yourself where would that person go? Who would that person talk to? How would that person talk? Be, embody that, embody that. And the more you work at that, the more you're going to chip away at this old self. Chip away, chip away, chip away until you become a masterpiece. And there's so much peace that, that's involved in that. An unblocked person is a very dangerous person because the possibilities are endless for that person. So yeah, I'm gonna get my work out in now. But uh, thank you guys for watching.